Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about data exchange instruction in Omron PL3. So, before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our channel for more updates and videos. So, data exchange. So, it will be changing the data, not exactly changing, it is exchanging data from one address to another. And the another address is having some data, now that will be shift to the previous address, okay. So, you have to give two address and the data in the first address will be moving to the second one, second will be moving to the first one, okay. That is how the data exchange will work. So, if you see here, there are two address over here, D100, D200. So, D100 data is moving to 200. So, what will be happening? ABCD will be moving to 100, D100 and 1234 will be moving to the D200. So, this is how it works. So, let us see that in the software. Let us create a new project. Just taking one normal coil, sorry, contact. So, what is the code for this? XC. HG. I am giving two address D200. We we'll use some other address D3600, D700. Alright. So let's create a watch table for this so that we can put the data in there. So D600 in one address. And D700 in another. Alright. So let's go online. You can go for the simulation. First, we will feed some value in uh, 600 and uh, 700. So that we can see the exchange of data when the run condition goes through. So let's take the same one, two, three. It's taking in hexa. Give here f f f f. Yeah. All right. So here it's having one address. Here it is having, so in one address the data is different, another address the data is different. 600 is having this one, 700 is having this one. Now I will make the condition true. So what will happen? Okay, I have not turned on yet. Turn on. The data has got exchange and it will be continuous. Okay, if you are giving one single short pulse, it will be constant. Okay, else it will be continuously shifting. The block is continuously, it is live kind of, it will continuously do. So, what we have to do if it have to be exchanged only once, it should be the rising pulse. So, let us check on that here. Let us go for the work on the simulator. So, here now 600 is having this one, 700 is having this one. So, just turn on. So, just only once it happened. It is not that same as previous one, no. It is not continuous, just only once it happened. So, like that you can exchange the data between two addresses using a pulse or continuous. Alright. So, I will meet you in the next session with another topic. Kindly like and subscribe our channel for more updates and videos. Thank you.